Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Everything Cosina. It is November. Yes, happy Wednesday, everyone. And here we are, we're back. And the great thing about it, it's fall winter season so for the rest of this year we'll be eating some healthy wonderful food today i will be making a chicken butternut squash soup recipe it's going to be so delicious so tasty and nothing says fall and winter like a nice soup i mean it's going to be great so let's get right to it when I'm cutting up butternut squash, I like to use a paring knife. I want to get a knife that I have full control over. It is very hard to cut and some people end up cutting themselves. In order to prevent that, get a size that you could easily handle to cut. So first we start cutting the ends. Cut. Take your time. Just cut half by half. I cut this half, I follow all the way. I turned it over, just follow down. And that's it. Nowhere was this hand close to that hand and you get a good size cut. So I made it a pretty good half. I will use a spoon to scrape out the seeds. Some people like to use the re, um, repurpose the seed and like to toast it because it is edible. Um, I personally haven't done that, but I'm willing to try it. I have this blend I just put together, which includes one teaspoon of no salt seasoning, half a teaspoon of curry powder. If you don't have powder, you could use a curry paste. One teaspoon of lari seasoning salt and three shakes of cinnamon. So what I'm gonna do, just mix that right in. Smells sweet and spicy <laughs> at the same time, which is nice. That is what fall is about, like that sweet and spice. I just want to show you a quick technique that I, what helps me cut like butternut squash is, you know, the bottom, the base is the bigger side. So I hold it by the base, I turn it upside down, I hold it like this where I cut half, the bottom half first, so it's nowhere near my fingers. Even if I miss cut, I won't cut myself. Cut the bottom half first. See? So what I did was I sliced a little bit, flip it over, and slice the other way, almost making a V. And then cut it right off. Right now, we're just going to chop these into smaller pieces. I am going to make large cuts, but not too large. So one, two, three. One. That's it. Here we go again. One, two, three, one. Just have two medium-sized potatoes. Same thing again, holding from the top. One, two. One trick I know is to get a fork, put it in, to what you're cutting. If you're so too afraid that it's you might get cut or too concerned, not only afraid but concerned, and you hold it like this and cut. Look at that. The potato will add to the creaminess of the soup um, and add to the texture. So it won't be watery, it'll just have that nice, thick, 
creamy soup um, texture in your mouth. Oh yes! And look at y'all. We're done. We got the mix. And we're just going to add one tablespoon. I like to add the oil first, get everything coated so it, the seasoning could just stick in there. Two tablespoons. I like to reuse my spoons. The same spoon I poured the oil in into, why not use that same spoon to mix everything? The oil sticking to the food. Good. And we have this blend I showed you earlier of all the seasoning. We're just going to put that right in there. Do a little bit at a time and mix. Looks so good. It looks like fall. Like, look at those colors. You can't tell me this is not fall. These are, like, this is fall. Oh. You can't tell me. If you tell me, I'm going to close my ears. I'll tell you that. If you try to tell me. This is fall so did y'all miss me i missed you guys oh i was so busy with so many things <laughs> but i'm glad to be back you know you gotta follow through and here i am and i'm just enjoying the process you see all that seasoning, the flavor, that's where the flavor lives. On every single side. I always believe if you can season your food, season it in a bowl. You coat everything. All sides are coated. Up, down, left, right. Everything's coated. Sheet pan ready, boiled up. Because I want easy cleanup. Let's see if everything could fit. I might have to make two um, oven batches. That's fine. I'm roasting everything. We're just gonna put this in the oven at 400 degrees, middle rack. And I'm going to cook it for about 30 to 40 minutes. Check it every 10 minutes. You're checking for softness. You know, right now the carrots are hard, but what you're really checking is the softness of the butternut squash because it's the hardest one out of the carrots, onion, and um, potatoes. Okay, so I brought out um, the vegetables. Everything is roasted, so I'm just going to put everything into the blender. So now we are going to add one cup of coconut milk to this. But before we add the coconut milk, I am going to add some better than bouillon, um, kind of chicken, roasted chicken base broth. I am going to add one teaspoon, just like that. for the coconut milk. Before we actually serve, remember my rule, you always taste the food before you serve the food, right? So, we are going to taste it. 
and see if we need to add any more seasoning to the mix. needs a bit more seasoning. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of Lari's. And then taste it again. And blend it up. Way better. The half um, teaspoon of Lari's just kicked it up a notch. Way better. Here I am pouring the soup. The butternut squash soup. And I am going to take some Costco chicken. So let's take a bite. I like to dip my chicken into the squash. Hey you guys, I'm so sorry. I ran out of battery life. So the butternut squash soup um, with the chicken was delicious. I even ate it with some bread and it was just wonderful, wonderful. It was just like, mmm. Uh, I just wanted more and more, but I was just like, okay, I still have to eat later on today. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was just wonderful. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and you're able to make it for your family and friends. With that other second batch that I couldn't fit on the sheet pan, I just, instead of adding coconut milk, I just added um, lactose-free milk and just made a sauce. So worked very well. So I'll be putting this um, with my pasta during the week and have butternut squash sauce, pasta sauce. So I was able to make two things and it was just wonderful and I can't wait until you guys try it. Let me know how it goes and thank you guys so much for watching Everything Cocina. Please leave a comment like this video and subscribe and I can't wait to see you next Wednesday. Bye.